the things that we do loads with these two, especially when there's nothing else to do apart from exercise um, when you're on lockdown, is we go for a lot of walks. We do get some weird looks because obviously they're not dogs, but they're sort of golden retriever size. But I'm about to take them on a walk now. Albert's just obviously learned a new trick. Um, and I thought also it might be quite interesting because we haven't done a video um, of Albert since we first got him to see how his training's coming along. Um, so yeah. So I always try to walk Albert in front if I can help it. Um, just so he learns to be independent because it's very easy for him to just follow exactly what Teddy's doing and gain confidence from Teddy when really he needs to be his own person. You can see Teddy's giving him a bit of a telling off for guessing too much in his personal space. Um, so yeah, Albert often is made to go in front because it makes him brave and he's doing really well actually. He's um, learning very, very quickly. He's a good boy. He's getting a bit cheeky. He <laughs> is trying to lead Teddy. So Albert's really just been learning how to walk well on the lead rope, how to stop, um, how to lead and go in front without Teddy walking with him. He has had the farrier a couple of times so he's learned how to pick his feet up. He's comfortable now being groomed um, where he sort of came from a herd environment straight off his mummy. He obviously um, hadn't done much of all of that um, and also he loves grooming with Teddy so he's a uh, learnt how Teddy keeps him um, up to date with all the latest horse behaviours. <laughs> As you can see they are totally in love with each other, it's really cute. So yeah, we'll go for a little bit of a walk and I'll show you where he's at. Come on boys, come walk on. Come on. Come on, we've got to move. Come on. So I'm sure for non-horsey people this goal will be slightly strange but for lockdown three I've decided to set myself a challenge and that is to increase Teddy's training. We've spoken a bit about Albert's training but to increase Teddy's training I'm going to show you his current trick so far. So Teddy knows how to do four, come on, that's 
likes it. That's his first trick. And then I'll show you how he can lie down. <laughs> Teddy's like, I think he's really missed me. I've been working so much, I feel a bit guilty. He's going for the full on hug, um, as you can see. Um, pull. Pull. Into my back. And do it again. Pull. Pull. Good boy. So that's his paw. Lots of people say that I should probably call it hoof, not paw, but you know, he's quite dog like, so I decided to call it paw. Um, so his lie down, I'm going to change the camera round and I'll show it to you now. So this is his lie down, <laughs> which he quite likes because he's naturally quite lazy. Can you go to sleep now? He looks really fat from this angle, I can see the camera. Coffee! So Teddy being able to lie down is actually really helpful because it means we can get all sorts of amazing photos um, of him lying in different locations, including in front of the fireplace, in houses, etc. And on a dog bed. Teddy, I'm not a horse. Um, yeah. So it's very helpful and also he only, he's learned that he only lies down when we tell him to so he doesn't actually like rolling. Which is why when everyone always says, how come he's so clean? That is why. Because he hates rolling. Basically. You gonna get up now? Up. Get up. Get up, lazy boots. So it's day two of Teddy's trick training during lockdown. Yesterday actually went quite well, but it got really dark, so I couldn't do much filming. So um, you'll see in a minute what we were working on. But basically, I figured that the foundations of lots of these things I'm asking him to do is that he must be able to move forward and back when I tell him. So he was a little bit stubborn with that at first, but as you can see in a minute, he really has got the hang of that. So I think now that he can do that, we can piece together some more things so that's good um yeah so we will see how we get on today You guys have all seen him do uh, his paw trick. I wanted to be able to make him do that um, when I was standing up next to him just by tapping his leg so that I didn't have to be crouching down um, even though it's only a slight movement of position it's actually really different so I've been teaching him that as well so a tap on the leg um, hopefully eventually it'll be my he's doing it already be my hands not a stick but a little gentle tap on the leg and he should do that. So he's doing it without asking at the moment. Um, so, good boy. You can see he learned that one really quickly. He's better with this leg than the other leg. He's very food orientated. At first I wanted to do everything without treats, but then I realized that he'd learn a lot quicker with treats. And then hopefully we can replace the treats with, um, with something different. But I taught him by tapping on his leg, and at first I was just picking his, hand, his foot up with my hand rather than him actually doing it himself, and then giving him, him a treat every time he did that. Um, and he eventually started picking it up automatically and um, he now knows that he gets a treat every time he does it, so he's quite keen to do it. So, as I said, he's better on this leg than the other leg. Um, I'll show you what I did to train him, because it was last night, so... I just gently tap him, and he's doing it himself, but... I gently tap him, and if he didn't pick his foot up, I'd go like that myself, and then give him a treat, so he learned um, that he would get rewarded for doing that. So we'll do it one more time on this leg and then I'll show you the other leg, which isn't so successful, but 
carried on with the treat thing, he can see he's now doing it by himself, because uh, I was worried that he'd try to snatch it from me, but actually he's being quite gentle, and he's not, he knows that he doesn't get it unless he does the, does the action, which he's now obviously doing all the time, um, so yeah, I guess it depends on the pony, some ponies are greedier than others, this one is very greedy. I'm using are these teeny tiny um, lick it treats which are really good for tricks. I was all inspired by Teddy's new trick so I then decided to do some work with Albie. Here you can see me picking up his foot and getting him to stretch down and rest his weight in my hand so teaching him to bow. He was actually really keen to do this and again he's super into his food so he didn't mind at all and this time you can see that he put so much weight in my hand and put so much trust in me that he actually lay down and I wasn't really expecting him to do this the first time I tried but it shows how much he trusts me. Um, I wasn't putting any pressure on his legs or anything like that, just purely letting him sort of stretch and gradually go down himself. You'll see he's lying on concrete, which is actually, funnily enough, his um, lying down spot of choice. Whenever Teddy and him get a choice, they'll always lie on the concrete rather than a nice bed. I have no idea why. Thank you. 